morning everybody so I'm just doing a quick little flower doodle here I've done it in pencil already and I'm gonna go over it with Stabilo all pencil and that's a pencil where after you draw and you activate it with water it spreads around like a black ink and I'm only doing it in some parts of the um, doodle not on every line so I'm going over just a few areas with the Stabilo all pencil just where I think I would like some highlight or some um, added dark detail also just to give a little interest and not to put it on every line so I'm gonna activate it with water after I'm done but also it never really draw it dries but it never really in other words every time you add water to it it's going to reactivate so when i start adding the watercolor in after i've done all the pencil some of the black is going to mix with the color and i love that effect and that's why i'm showing you this um style you know if it was an ink that dried like a bombay ink the ink would not mix with the color after i add the color in but with this some of the black is going to mix in with the um color so I kind of like that and it'll blend in and it'll it'll do some some of its it'll have its own mind with some of the things that it does in other words I won't be able to control some of it but uh, I always like the effects of it and it's fun to just try you know you could do a little doodle or you know just sketch out something with this to be low all and then add some water and then do some watercolor and see for yourself how it mixes together um, it gives a really nice um, effect, kind of like a little bit of a messy effect as well. So I'm a little, I, f I film this in the normal light that I do, but the colors are not, when I add the colors, you're going to see they're not as vibrant as I would like. And I'm sorry about that. I don't really know why. It's a very gray day today, so I'm not getting any of my window light. But, um... Either way, you'll see you'll see what I'm doing. And at the end of this video, it's not going to be the finished piece. I'm going to be doing um, colored pencil on top of this. Okay, now I'm adding my Winsor & Newton watercolor markers. These are the ones I've used before. I've had them for many years. They are still as bold and vibrant and saturated as they were when I bought them. They're just a great investment. And they're double-sided. One is a thick tip, the other is fine. And after you draw with them, you can add water, just like watercolor, and they blend. So it's going to be a really cool effect between the Stabilo All Pencil and the watercolor uh, marker together, because they're both going to blend. And at points, it's going to look a little messy. And sometimes um, if I add too much water, it does blotch a bit, and then I just take my paper towel and blot it. It's not a big deal. And after it dries, it's going to be lighter, too. So... You know, it's something I can cover up with colored pencil later if I don't like it. All right, so now I'm just adding water to the watercolor marker. Oh, here comes Ozzy. He saw that I changed rooms, so he had to come after me if you hear his little feet in the background. All right, so I've just done a, a few different areas. I've used a few different colors, blue and red and purple, yellow and orange and green. And I'm just blending them a little bit in a messy style I'm not going exactly over the lines as you see because later the different um, saturation is going to dry differently so you're going to get all these different um, opacities and transparencies just because of the way that the watercolor will um, dry and then I can go over any area I want with my colored pencil, so that's what I love about this. I'm actually not using my normal 140 pound Canson paper. I'm using a smooth Bristol for this. It absorbs very well though. It's it's just like using the 140 pound Canson watercolor paper, but it's smooth. It's very, I actually didn't buy the Bristol. There's two, there's Bristol and smooth. I bought the smooth, not the Bristol. So it's a very smooth paper that when you use um, colored pencil on, they just glide over the top without having that little bit of roughness that makes it be a little bit of broken up. So 
So now I'm using watercolor. I just switched over to watercolor. I'm just using my um, little fine brush with some watercolor. And I'm just going over a few more of the lines, adding in different colors, just filling up the page, so to speak. And actually the colors are looking kind of bright here. When I um, edited this video, they didn't look so bright, but now they're looking bright. I guess it was just my um, fear of the gray day that was going to take away from the flowers. Either way, I'm going to do a video after this of me adding the colored pencil in. So you will see how the piece actually comes to life after that. And you'll see the finished piece. But it's fun doing these layers because, you know, parts of this I'm going to like as they are. And parts I'm going to want to add colored pencil to. Or even a little more watercolor pen or whatever. I may add some more plain watercolor. I may add some more um, Stabilo Oil Pencil. I may add some ink. So these are just the first two, three layers. And then, you know, it, it can go in a few directions. I can make it very bold with the colored pencil or I could keep it half bold, half um, transparent. So that's why it's fun in working in layers also. Not just because it makes the painting um, look better at the end, but because there's so many options if you work in layers. You know, you can choose parts that you want to enhance and leave other parts in the background. And it just is a great way to maybe have a style that you do, but each piece can turn out different because of the way you add the layers. So that's why I like working like this. This style that I'm doing now is something that I did many years ago. <laughs> this is how I started out doing this. I didn't always use the Stabilo pencil, but I used to use ink. Anyway, I hope you like this video.